Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this Friday, the 16th day of October. Today we celebrate the lives of two Anglican bishops who were martyrs during the 16th century, and we'll learn more about them during the service. Morning Prayer Rite 1 begins on page 42 of the Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We continue with the invitatory psalm. We will say together the Jubilate, which can be found on page 45. O be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be ye sure that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. We continue with the psalm appointed for today. We will read together Psalm 142, which can be found on page 798 of the prayer book. I cry to the Lord with my voice. To the Lord I make loud supplication. I pour out my complaint before him and tell him all my trouble. When my spirit languishes within me, you know my path. In the way wherein I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. I look to my right hand and find no one who knows me. I have no place to flee to, and no one cares for me. I cry out to you, O Lord. I say you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Listen to my cry for help, for I have been brought very low. Save me from those who pursue me, for they are too strong for me. Bring me out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. When you have dealt bountifully with me, the righteous will gather around me. We continue with the gospel assigned for this day. It comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, beginning at the 20th verse. Remember the word that I said to you. Servants are not greater than their master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have sinned. But now they have no excuse for their sin. Whoever hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works that no one else did, they would not have sinned. But now they have seen and hated both me and my father. It was to fulfill the word that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. When the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I have said these things to you to keep you from stumbling. The word of the Lord. We continue with Canticle 18, a song of the Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. So to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. We continue about reading about the lives of Hugh Latimer and Nicholas Ridley. Hugh Latimer was the outstanding English preacher of the Reformation. 
His sermons against ecclesiastical abuses led to several trials for heresy, but no proof could be established against his orthodoxy. Latimer was little interested in the refinements of doctrine. His zeal was concentrated on the moral life of Christian clergy and people. Born of yeoman stock about the year 1490 in Leicestershire, Latimer graduated from Clare College, Cambridge, and became a fellow in the year 1510. Though a conservative, he was attracted to the new currents of reform stemming from the Continental Reformation in the 1520s. King Henry VIII made him a royal chaplain in the year 1530, and five years later appointed him to the see of Worcester, a position he relinquished in the year 1539 in opposition to the king's reactionary policies against the progress of the Reformation. In the reign of Edward VI, Latimer be became prominent again as a preacher, but he refused to resume his see. With the ascension of Queen Mary in the year 1553, he was imprisoned. On October 16, 1555, he was burned at the stake in Oxford alongside Bishop Nicholas Ridley. Nicholas Ridley was born in Northumberland and was educated at Pembroke College, Cambridge. While there, he belonged to a circle of young men deeply attracted to the currents of reform inspired by the Continental Reformation. A supporter of Archbishop Cranmer's reforming agenda, Ridley became the Archbishop's chaplain in the year 1537 and vicar of Hearn, Kent in the year 1538. He was chosen master of Pembroke in the year 1540 and chaplain to Henry VIII and canon of Canterbury in the year 1541. Two years later, he was acquitted of a charge of heresy. Early in the reign of Edward VI, Ridley was made Bishop of Rochester and participated with Cranmer in the preparation of the first Book of Common Prayer. He was translated to the See of London in the year 1550, where he was a strong advocate for and administrator of the principles of the Reformation. His unwillingness to recant of his Protestant theology and his opposition to the ascension of Queen Mary led to his condemnation and his execution at the side of Bishop Latimer. We continue our service by saying together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and it sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit let us pray. Begin with the Lord's Prayer, followed by suffrages B. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee. We worship thy name ever, world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. 
We continue with the collects. Keep us, O Lord, constant in faith and zealous in witness, that like thy servants Hugh Latimer and Nicholas Ridley, we may live in thy fear, die in thy favor, and rest in thy peace. For the sake of Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Continue with the Colic for Fridays. Almighty God, who is most dear Son, went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and then entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find in none other than the way of life and peace. Through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who did stretch out thine arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of thy saving embrace. So clothe us in thy spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know thee to the knowledge and love of thee, for the honor of thy name. Amen. Take a moment to offer our prayers. In the midst of a day where we remember martyrs to the faith, we give thanks for those who have given their lives for others and for the gospel. We give thanks for those who have given up selfish desires for the concern of others, for people like that in our lives who have given to us more than we could possibly ever return. We give thanks for our parish and for our school. We pray for our community. We pray for our nation and for the world, that a sense and desire for peace may override all divisions that we experience. We pray for the sound and good judgment of our leaders locally and throughout the world. We give thanks for all the blessings that you've given us, the glory of this day. We give thanks for those whose lives are a blessing to us. Take a moment to invite your own prayers and thanksgiving. Gracious God, for all our prayers spoken and those that remain in our hearts, we lift them up to you this day. We conclude our prayers by saying together a prayer of St. Christostom, which can be found on page 59 of the prayer book. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and has promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, Thou will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Thank you for joining Morning Prayer this week. I invite you to uh, participate in our Sunday service at St. Matthew online and look forward to seeing you again on Monday. God bless.